And speaking of Gibson, there was this moment, of course, you handing the Gibson Explorer to Danny of the yes. Warning, who were former guests on the show. That moment, what was that? What was that like for you? Um, this was purely me creating the past that happened for me. So, when we first started touring, like for real. Um, after we got signed, we, we got signed in 05, went right out on the road with uh, Shinedown and Seether mm -hmm. and uh, Buds, right? And um, uh, Jason Todd at the time, who was the guitar player for Shinedown, um, took, in, took a liking to me. Oh. And he would always kind of, after every show, like, oh man, you were doing this riff here and this. And at the time, I was feeling very insecure about my playing because especially first starting out and like getting out there and, and touring, you get a lot of, um, you know, a lot of crap about being a girl and playing guitar. Oh, can you actually play? Oh, my, you know, my boyfriend doesn't, let, you know, whatever, <laughs> all that stuff. And so he was one of those guys that was like, no, 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 you're doing it. And I'm inspired Aww. by watching you every night because, so he wasn't looking at me like I was a girl playing guitar. He was looking at me as a guitar player. So anyway, we were in, um, I forget where we were, but we were at this show and I broke a string on my guitar during our set. It's like 20 minute set, first of four, Ugh. broke a string. We don't have any roadies. So I go back in between like verses and, I, and he's standing there with this white guitar for me, this white uh, Firebird guitar. And he's like, here you go. And I'm, I just thought he was letting me borrow his guitar. And so I'm like, okay, finished up the set on this beautiful guitar. I go back to the dressing room to give him back the guitar. And he says, no, I went across the street. I got that for you. This oh. is yours. And so I'm like, well, I mean, I want to do something for you. This is like totally unnecessary and, and blowing my mind. And he said, well, if you ever in your travels find a young woman that you are so inspired by that makes you want to play better, all I want from you is to pass that on, oh. pass the gift on. So what I did with Danny, now after all these years, we have this amazing band, The Warning, yeah, um, so you good. know, out with us opening, and we are inspired. I am like, I'm like skipping warm up to watch these girls play. Yes, they're unbelievable. I am, I'm side stage every night, they're attacking the audience, and I was so, she made me um, go back every night, like uh, just being inspired by her, I went back every night and trying to be better at my guitar. Wow. So I called my guys at Gibson, I'm like, can you find me anything in the area that is a great quality car? So they found a white Explorer. Oh. And, um, so and so symbolic. Well, because yeah. I originally I was gonna give her one of my signatures, but I really wanted to give her something that could be hers and didn't mm -hmm. have my name on it. Mm -hmm. And so I found this guitar. And so I, I was in cahoots with, the, with their roadies. And they're like, oh my God, this is amazing. We're not gonna tell her anything. Just be a roadie for a day and go out and hand her the guitar. So they have one time in their set where she switches. And so he got it all set up for me. And then I go out and I hand her the guitar. She plays the thing and the same thing, thing happened. She came up to me and she's like, here's your guitar. Yeah. Thank you for letting me borrow it. And I'm like, no, that's oh. yours. And her and her parents were there and the sisters and they're like, what? And everyone started crying. Yeah. Like, so I basically just kind of said to her exactly what Jason said to me. And it was such a beautiful moment. Like we all cried, but that's what it's about. Yes. You know? about. And so, yes. Yeah. Music it's, as connection, as celebration, as inspiration. Yeah. Wow. What a full circle, right? poignant moment.